Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Atriox, and we're back with another reaction video. So, um, I've been trying to post, like, I've had two videos in the last couple of days that got blocked, and uh, it's kind of, like, getting a little annoying, but, um, it is what it is. It happens. Uh, those videos, one of them got, the, got um, approved after the fact, and, um, it's live, the Electric Cowboy one, but the other one, the Baby Metal one, um, it didn't, uh, what you call it? It hasn't gotten approved yet. So if it does get approved, it'll just go up when it does. If not, then that'll probably be the first video we put on the Patreon. Considering Baby Metal's like how we started the channel initially anyways. So we'll probably put that on the Patreon. But um I think I'm it's gonna I'm not sure. I'm not sure how the exactly Patreon works and all that stuff. So we're, we're we're figuring I'm still looking at videos about it and like how how they go about setting it up. But anyways, um today we'll be doing Jordan Lucas's uh J. Cole and J. Cole um your heart i haven't heard the song yet obviously um i love jordan lucas though jordan lucas is probably one of my favorite uh rappers out there and then um j cole is another really dope rapper too so i'm interested in how this has it goes but um this song is called your heart so i, I imagine it's going to be about relationships obviously um maybe like uh i don't know some toxic or some shit like that no it is what it is but anyways guys i'm gonna jump into this i'm not gonna waste any more time uh if i've wasted enough uh, but yeah, that's kind of why like I haven't really been posting this week. I tried to post, I just didn't even get blocked. But anyways, guys, if you like this, um, if you like this, oh, I think I just muted myself. If you like this reaction, let me know in the comment section below what you like about the song, and uh, consider giving a like and um, subscribe to the channel if you're new here. I'm trying to post more, but YouTube is kind of just button heads with me. But it's fine. We'll we'll we'll, we'll figure it out. Sorry. Yeah. I broke your heart, huh? You knew I was a fuck nigga from the start, huh? You should've listened when it said I was a dog, huh? You should've listened to your head when you had thoughts, huh? That's what you thought, huh? I left you scarred, huh? You'll never be the same again, put that on guard, huh? I took your heart and then I tore that shit apart, huh? I fucked you over, did you dirty, did you wrong, huh? I did you wrong, huh? I did you wrong, yeah. You say you hate me, but I know that this your song, yeah. Angry Texas, we don't never get along, yeah. We been rocking with each other for so long, yeah. Maybe that's why it's been harder to move on, yeah. Hold up. I look you wanna just go back to the beginning part because he was talking some shit, but I was I was trying to see how it was gonna how, how it was gonna play. I'm sorry, 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 sorry. I broke your heart, huh? You knew I was a fuck nigga from the start, huh? You should've listened when it said I was a dog, huh? You should've listened to your head when you had thoughts, huh? That's what you thought, huh? I left you scarred, huh? You'll never be the same again, put that on guard, huh? I took your heart and then I tore that shit apart, huh? I fucked you over, did you dirty, did you wrong, huh? I did you wrong, huh? I did you wrong, yeah. So this whole part in the beginning is like kind of crazy because like um you know there's a lot of times in relationships especially like you know I from friends I talk to that deal with these kind of situations where like they try and change somebody who they know is not a good person and like they know that you know he's not a good person to get a relationship with but they feel like they can change them and mold them into something that they want like if I had, I know plenty of people that <laughs> try to do that shit it don't work like that's just who they are bro like. It takes traumatic experience for someone to want to change who they are and what they represent. You know what I mean? So, like, your words won't change them, but then they get into relationships where, you know, now now something's going to happen, like, you know, if they got they had, they end up having a kid with them, and then now it just gets even worse. And, like, because now you have there's a kid involved and stuff like that. So it sucks because, like, these women, they, they it's not even just women, too. It's guys, too. You get into relationships with these people that they feel like they could change their perspective and like get them to be like a known person but like you gotta understand like you can't fix somebody that don't want to get fixed if that makes sense I fucked you over, did you dirty, did you wrong, huh? I did you wrong, huh? I did you wrong, yeah. You say you hate me, but I know that this your song, yeah. Angry Texas, we don't never get along, yeah. We've been rocking with each other for so long, yeah. Maybe that's why it's been harder to move on, yeah. And you changed too. And your mama and your friends, they gonna blame too. And you hate it when somebody say my name, ooh. Every time you hear my name, you wanna drink, ooh. You wanna go out, you wanna get drunk, you wanna get lit, lit. You wanna get That's tough, dude. Hold on, let me hear that part one more time. 
Hey, hey, my name, you wanna drink? Ooh, ooh, you wanna go out, you wanna get drunk, you wanna get lit? Too. And you hate it when somebody say my name? Ooh. Every time you hear my name, you wanna drink? Ooh, ooh, you wanna go out, you wanna That's a tough line, bro. Just like thinking of it, because like, you ever been in a relationship where like, you just, it was such, it ended so bad, and maybe it was bad um, going for it. I'm gonna be honest, like, I've been in a relationship that was really, really bad in high school. Like, I was with a girl, and um, the relationship was horrible towards the end of it. And, like, and like you know, I felt like pitching holding relationship because, like, I didn't want, want that on my conscience type shit. And, you know, I'm young, so I'm just, like, gullible. And I was like, all right, whatever. And then it gets to a point, like, afterwards, like, it, just hearing her name be mentioned along with my friends, like, sometimes when I talk to them, I just, it, it, it irked me. I was like, bro, stop talking about that person. I don't want to hear about that person. Like, it would just piss me off because of, like, how the way things had ended with that relationship and, like, how bad that relationship had gotten towards the end. Like, it just got to that point where, like, even the name, just, just hearing that person's name would piss me off. You know what I mean? I definitely, I felt that shit. That was, that's such a bar, bro. And then you want to drink. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You want to go out. You want to get drunk. You want to get lit. lit. You want to get crazy. Do everything that you never did. You want to get bent. You want to revenge. You want to get dick. But you ain't about that life, so you might fuck a bitch. You might, you might break a window. You might do some wild shit out of impulse. You say that you hate me and we not involved But you still checking on me trying to find info I know, I broke your heart, huh You knew I was a fuck nigga from the start, huh You should've listened when they said I was a dog, huh You should've listened to your head when you had thoughts, huh That's what you thought, huh I let you scar, huh You'll never be the same again but uh, I did not want to stop it there <laughs> But just, um just seeing somebody going through that shit like we're just so mentally fucked like it's just such mentally unstable just because like they may have loved somebody like really that the person a lot and then like them finding out maybe that he cheated on her it looks like that's what's happening then that's a scene that he probably ended up cheating on her or some shit like that and like that fuck that messes with your mind bro like that messes with your mind like i don't know if you've ever been cheated on but like i imagine this just like not being able to um understand it's like bro why though it's like that messes with your mental like why you cheated on me was that not enough type shit like ah uh, dude that's, that's so messed up I let you scar, huh? you'll never be the same again but that on girl huh? i took your heart and then i tore that shit apart huh? i fucked you over did you dirty did you wrong huh? i did you wrong huh? i hate a fuck nigga used to be a fuck nigga couldn't even blame her if she did fuck niggas You run your bitch through the mud, you deserve that So mm -hmm. you can feel it for yourself where it hurt at What goes around comes around, I know you heard that While you was creeping, tell me did it not occur that This nigga sliding in the DMs every AM, every PM Used to be like automatic, she would curve that That was before when you was loyal, now it's thirst traps on a profile And niggas know how to mm. Find a chink in your armor, you been tripping, dog. You ain't been keeping your promise, you been pimping, dog. Now bitches I like I like this role that J Cole's playing in this song, just because like it's like almost like a Big Brother type shit, where it's just like oh now you're gonna see what she's doing with this dude because of what you did. Now it's like now it's, it's your turn to feel that pain that you did to her, because like a lot of times like this, I'm gonna be honest, like there's a lot of guys that mess up and they try to go back to the one that they that treated them right, but then they realize they they can't because that person moved on to the next person. So like I definitely I, I like that vibe that J Cole's doing right here. Just wink in your comments, she's suspicious, dog. And now you reaping your karma, she got niggas, dog. Calling her phone while you gone, and your bitch ass can't even feel no way, cause you doing her the same. Now you know the pain, and what used to be the dynamic duos and flames. And you too proud to see that you hold the blame. From mm -hmm. all that playing, nigga, we too old for games. Facts. Man, you broke her heart, huh? Bro, we that is facts my g that is facts bro like after after a certain age bro like y'all should be past that shit bro be past all that cheating shit like come on bro like that that type of shit is 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 that is that facts bro and i completely agree with it bro because like you know when you mess around like when your kids whatever your kids teenagers even like college type shit early college type shit but like 30 40 years old doing that fuck like Come on, bro. Like, I, I some real shit. Like, that's just that's weirdo behavior, bro. Like, you're, you're too old for that, bro. Like, all that experimental shit should have been done with. Like, 30s, 40 years old, that's like when you should be having your shit figured out. And the fact that, like, these people still go around messing with other people like that. And, you know, they, 
they just supposed to be cool with it. It's just wild to me. So I, I, I felt that bar. Oh, let's go back. Used to be the dynamic duos and flames. And you too proud to see that you hold the blame. From all that playing, nigga, we too old for games. Man. You broke her heart, huh? When you met her, she was young and hella pure, huh? Ain't had no clue that she was fucking with a dog, huh? You never mm. thought you'd see the day that she was gone, huh? But you mm. was wrong, huh? Yeah, you was wrong, huh? Cause now it's later, she ain't answering your calls, huh? She mm. VIP, she out here fucking with the stars, huh? Some other nigga got her, now he about to spoil her. You could have spoiled her. Hey, but you starved her, yeah, yeah. That's such a that was such a good song, bro. That was such a good song. Jordan Lucas and J. Cole on the same song is wild to me. I don't know why I never heard this song. But like, dude, Jordan Lucas is like then one of my favorite rappers, bro. Like, especially like I first started listening to him back when like he he before this is like before he blew up. Like um Ross Ka I can never say the name. Ross Capriccioni or something like that. Um that's like one of my favorite songs. It low-key reminds me of um of like immortal that one immortal technique uh song uh dance with the devil i think it's called but yeah dude like this this song was super good like it really talks to the points of like toxic people in relationships like he's like oh uh you didn't realize that i was like that type of dude that would really uh that would really just hurt you like type shit like you know he didn't know i was a dog da, da, da. and he like in the beginning the, his verse he's like oh you should have i bet oh uh, you, you didn't know i was gonna be like that to you doing that whole part first part of the relationship but then when j cole takes over now it's uh, it's flipped now it's like the girl is doing is doing whatever the fuck she wants now that she's not with that dude no more and she realizes that you know she can't change that dude then he has a problem with it so now he's trying to come back trying to call her and do all the shit but she's already moved on to the next person so like I like that. I like the little flip there in, in terms of the storytelling throughout the video, and even throughout the video where they're watching, um, you're watching how his demeanor changes from like you know I'm a dog, da da da, like I'm being cocky and like I'm almost like an egotistical type shit, and to the point where like now he's like getting yeah, like he's pissed off and like his ego's got got in the way and like he realizes he's messed up, but at the same time like you know he doesn't really want to be better, like per se. It's just like he's just mad that she moved on to the next person because. He, you know, he's, he, he wants her to, to do stuff like that. That's how toxic people are. Because, like, they don't really want to change, but, like, they don't want you to be happy without them being any part of your life, if that makes sense. I'm not saying all people, all toxic people like that. Cause I'm sure there's some that, like, probably uh, will change real, realistically. But nine times out of ten, this, oh, I should say eight times out of ten. Let's see, eight, I'll, I'll be nice. Eight times out of ten, that's probably not the case. But this is, this is a, they did a really great job um, pushing, like, their, their message through here. But anyways, guys, um, I hope this one actually gets uploaded because I'm getting annoyed with the, all the blocks. I think it'll be fine. So, um, like I said, I'm going to post the uh, baby metal reaction for uh, from dust to dawn. That's going to be on the Patreon probably tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to figure it out and I'm going to post it in the community notes. So be on the lookout for that. But anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Uh, this is this was actually a really dope song. I definitely want to give it. I'm definitely going to add this song to the playlist. I really liked I liked I liked the mix of them both. It'd be nice if they ever did an album together. That'd be pretty sick. But anyways, guys, I'm out of here. Hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Peace. <laughs>